Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and this is my video series on practical JavaScript where I walk you through the algorithm challenges at FreeCodeCamp.com. In this video, we are going to build a person, or sorry, make a person. So um, we've got an object constructor, which is a uh, essentially just a function that we use to uh, make objects. And we are going to fill in the constructor with the following methods. And uh, remember, um, a method is just a function. Um, so, so, so objects have properties or keys, and you know the values of those properties can you know be a string or a, or an integer or a boolean. Uh, they can also be functions, and these are called methods. So, um, we need to create six different methods right here. Get first name, get last name, get full name, and then set first name, set last name, set full name. Um, and then run the test to see the expected output for each method. Um, okay, so let's just go ahead and do it. Um, and, uh, and basically, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create uh, two variables so far. First equals first and last. Um, I'm sorry. I'm going to say, I'm going to show you two solutions to this. First is going to be this dot first equals first and last split. Okay, because we're only uh, passing in like one string, so we're going to have to split it. Dot split, okay, zero. Okay, I have to get the first element. And then, oops, what's wrong with that indentation? This dot last equals first and last dot split. And then we'll get the first index. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and create our um, six methods. We'll do this really quickly. So this dot get first name. Okay, oops. And we're going to do the equals like this function. Okay, and I'm just going to say return this dot first. Okay, I'm going to put a semicolon there. All right, get dot last name. All right, these are just simple getter methods. Return this.last and this.get uh, full name, okay, function. Okay, return this.first, add in a space, and then this.last. Okay, and now let's do the setter method. So this dot set first name. It's going to be a function. It's going to take one argument. All right, and I'm going to say this dot first equals um, str. Okay, and we'll just assume that it takes um, just uh, just you know one name, and so not two names, a first and last name. And, uh, and we don't have to return anything because we're just setting a value. All right, this dot last name, oh, set last name. Okay, str. Okay, this dot last equals str. Okay. And then finally, this dot set full name equals function str. Okay. All right, so basically doing the same thing here, this dot first equals str split. And that'll be the first one, this dot last str split. And the second one. All right, and if we run this test, all right, everything passes, but take a look at this test here. Um, you know, all of our all of our you know methods work, and that's why we're getting these check marks. But the failing test that we have here, object.keys.bob.length should return six. Okay, so this method here, object.keys.bob, okay, that's going to return an array of all of the property keys or all of the property methods. And then we're just calling length on it, so it's giving us a number. Well, we have our six, you know, methods right here. So that's six properties. But then we have this seventh and eighth one right here. And for this exercise, they only want us to return six keys and not eight. 
Well, there's two ways that uh, we can, you know, fix this problem. One, um, I'm going to show you, and this is a pretty cool kind of advanced JavaScript trick. All right, object dot define property. Okay, and we can use this um, basically to create or um, edit the properties. Uh, to we can use this um, to create a new property uh, or to create a new object. Uh, or uh, to create, um, uh, like edit new properties uh, or existing properties. So first argument is the object, so Bob, and then we're going to edit the uh, the uh, first property. Okay, this dot first. Okay, and then it's going to take uh, an object of options, and I'm going to say enumerable is false. Okay. And uh, this, this um, object method right here, define property, it takes a bunch of other options. Basically, when we set enumerable to false, that means we can't iterate through that particular property in a for in loop, and we can't access it using object.keys. So let's just go ahead and do the exact same thing for the false. For the, sorry, for the last property. And if I go ahead and run this, there we go. Now everything works right here. Um, okay, so let's just run the, through this one more time. We've got a constructor, an object constructor, and uh, we're passing it an argument, one string, and then uh, these are functions, in other words, methods, and uh, they look a little bit different from regular functions. We have to prepend it with this. And this, the, this keyword in JavaScript, um, it basically depends where it appears, but in an object constructor, it's referring to the instance of the object. In this case, Bob is an instance of the person object, okay, or the person constructor. And so all of these, you know, properties are pointing only to Bob, okay? So um, we, we have our six methods here, and, uh, and you know, basically it's just retrieving and returning values for the getter methods. And then for the setter methods, we're just you know, updating the value of this. Um, by default, uh, all of the properties in a constructor are going to be enumerable, so it'll be true. And, and that's why um, when we ran object.keys on it, it was uh, returning eight because it counted like these six methods and then these first two um, up here, this up first and this up last. And um, well, the, the challenge didn't want us to return eight keys. They only wanted to uh, wanted us to return uh, six of them. So this is kind of like the cool, like advanced JavaScript way to to um, to you know change that. You can also um, you know add some other uh, properties to uh, by default writable is true, and I believe there's another one called configurable. And you can also make that true or false. By default, it's true. And then the value, it can be like whatever you want. It can be like a string, like hello, or like whatever you want. But for this challenge, we only needed to worry about the innumerable. Uh, now I'm going to show you um, kind of the easier way uh, to do this. Um, and we we don't need, um, we, we certainly don't need, um, this, this pretty cool defined property method right here. So I'm going to go ahead and get that out of here. Okay. And, uh, right here, you know, anything that's begins with this in a constructor, uh, that is a public property. So, um, you know, I can go ahead and, uh, and, you know, I can, um, yeah, I could say like Bob, uh, how about Bob, um, you know, first. And oh, why does it give me, what is this? Expect it. Okay, so anyway, uh, I'm just saying bob.first and, you know, I can access uh, the, the value of that property. I can do the same thing right here. Bob.last. And, okay, we get raw, so that's all cool and, and well and stuff. Um, but uh, we can also make private properties. 
Um, and uh, these would not get, uh, you know, these could not be accessed by the dot or bracket notation like I just showed you before. And they would not be, you know, accessed with foreign loops or, um, or you know, object.keys. And we essentially just declare a regular JavaScript variable. So var first, like that, and var last. And that's it. Now, now these are um, private. Um, these are all private. And I can still retrieve them with my methods, which I'll show you in just a moment, but I can't directly access them. So all I'm doing is I'm just removing the this keyword from all of those, and it should work exactly the same. All right, so if I go up here and if I run my test again, look at that, it works all the same. But remember before I was able to access that first and last property using dot notation? Well, if I try it again, oops. Uh, well, all right, it, it, I passed the test. But if I try it again, I get nothing in the console right there, okay, because it's a private variable. It's um it's private it's a private property and it's private because I declared just like a normal variable and I can't access it. If you want to make it a public variable, then you have to use the this uh, keyword that makes it public. Okay, so I showed you two ways to uh, complete this challenge. So both very similar, and um and well um yeah, well, that's all there is to it. So uh, definitely useful. Uh, when you're using constructor for you know, some of your projects. So keep this in your uh, back pocket. I think this is actually a very practical and authentic um, you know, challenge for us to do. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching this video. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for improvement, please let me know in the comments below, and I promise to respond to you. Okay, that's all for now, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Boop.